Mike One. Um, have another video for you today. Uh, it's not a knife review. It's actually a sale video. Uh, I've got a bunch of knives uh, that are sitting around, and I'm not using them. Uh, a lot of knives I've never. You know, most of these knives, if not all, actually all these knives I've never really used. They just bought them. I did a review on them, and they sat in my knife case, and pretty much that's all. That's the only thing they've ever seen. Um, first off. I have a Senremu, uh, let me see here, it's a 16, or 1602G, Warren Cliff blade design, G10 handles, um, liner lock, no pocket clip, uh, just they come without a pocket clip, um, this guy's brand spanking new, never done anything with it or whatever, um, I'm asking 10 bucks for this, right here, um, I don't have the box or anything. They come in a clamshell. I don't have the clamshell for it anymore, unfortunately. Um, but there you are. $10 shipped. Next up, this is a... I got this off eBay. Um, it is uh, supposedly a Senremu Land uh, version knife. But unfortunately, when I went to go look online, um, Senremu is never made. A knife that looks like this or have this model number um let me get you some more information here i want to be straight up with you guys um the model number supposedly is a gb9-908 uh, now if you're familiar with senray move they just continue the nine series um and they were the larger knives just because of knife restrictions in china so they quit making the nine series that's why when you look on eBay and you find a Senray Moo knife and it's like 80 bucks, it's usually a 9 series. It's not because someone's trying to, you know, someone's whacked out of their mind. They're trying to sell uh, an expensive Chinese knife for way too much. It's worth that much because they don't make it anymore. Um, this is supposedly, uh, they have it marked as one of those knives, but unfortunately, if I looked on the Senray Moo site um, and there's no model number uh, that existed, like the one I just told you, the GB. Um, whatever that was, the, excuse me, the GB9-908, um, the blade steel, I believe is, um, uh, either 440C, I think it's 440C on that, I'm not 100% sure, uh, the handle scales are black and red G10, it's not a xylon filled type of deal, liner lock, it is a flipper, uh, the liner lock, even though this is brand new, sticks a little bit, uh, but the lockup is solid. No left or right play up and down or anything. It just the the liner lock sticks just a hair. Not really an issue for me. Um, I just got it and you know I'm not using it. Uh, Want to get rid of it for ten bucks shipped. Um, this guy right here and I do have the box for it there. Um, next up we're getting more. Uh, let me see here. We're getting into. I got a Kershaw Asset Speed Assist Combo Edge, um, brand new. I do have the box for this. Um, this has never been used. Never been used. Uh, centered, perfect. No blade play. Brand spanking new. Um, I'm just looking for 15 shipped on this one. Um, next up would be a. Kershaw one ton frame lock. Um, uh, HCR MOV blah 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 blah. You guys get the drift there. Um, on this uh, on the one ton, I'm looking for 18 bucks shipped. Um, on this guy, it's brand new. Uh, no kind of wear on it whatsoever. Never EDC'd it. G10 on one side, frame lock on the other. Um, it's bead blasted. Um, I've looked up. Um, when I went to the pricing on these guys, I went to websites to see what they're asking for them brand new, and I like like you know I knocked like five or six bucks off of it, um, you know, five or six bucks off the price, um, and included shipping um, to try to make it fair because I you know it was a while since I purchased these, and I'm not trying to get what I asked for them. I've had them for a little while. Um, it's not like you're buying it from a retailer; you're buying it from me, so it is 
it, they're brand new, but technically they're used because I own them. I'm not. But what happened is with this one is I noticed that a lot of the pictures I've seen, the scales are different on the one ton now. It's got this funky cutout thing to make it look like the half ton and the three quarter ton. And I don't know if they made a new series and they don't make this anymore, or you if you find you can find either or. But this is the G10. It's reminiscent to what you get on a Spyderco, mildly aggressive. Um, so yeah. The one ton here, I'm going to be asking 18 for. So, there you go. Next up, um, another Skyline, or Kershaw, it's a Skyline. Guys are familiar with this. You know, it's like, it rivals the Tenacious as far as, you know, you know EDC Hall of Fame favorites. Um, I like the knife. Um, never really, never EDC'd it. You know, I actually had it in my pocket and never cut anything with it. Just that day, I didn't have any tasks I had to do. So it's practically brand new. Brand spanking new. I do have the box for this and, and all that good stuff. And um, for the uh, for this Skyline, I'm looking 32 bucks for it. Um, it's a few bucks cheaper. And that's including shipping. So it is a few bucks cheaper than what you could get out at the store. And it is brand new. And last but not least, um, I mentioned that I wanted to get rid of this before. is the tie light. Uh, this is used. There are a little bit of blemishes on the aluminum handles. Uh, you have one notch here. It's just very faint. Just a couple little nicks along here. Not too much at all. And the pocket clip, your usual nicks around the edge of the pocket clip. But all in all, it's pretty darn new. If you guys watched the video, this thing still got its uh, factory edge and it's still razor effing sharp. It is sharp, sharp, sharp. Um, lock up, it's 100% solid. Uh, no blade play whatsoever. It's just, like I said in a video before, it's not, you know, not a knife that I really, you know, I like. Um, so, for the tie light, I'm asking for 35 on that. So, these are kind of set up as far as, far as um, cheap as the most expensive. Um, all these prices include shipping. So, we've got the, uh, the Senre Mu, which is 10 bucks. The mystery center move wanna be which is ten bucks. Uh, the acid is fifteen bucks. The one ton here is eighteen dollars. The skyline is thirty-two and the tie light is thirty-five. Um, and basically, uh, you know, it all includes shipping. You can just PM me and uh, let me know if you're interested in any of these. I'd rather sell them. I may entertain trades. I'm looking for uh, a couple specific knives uh, right now. I mean, I would take like a, you know, a Rat One Ontario Rat One folder. Uh, maybe trade for uh, one of these or something like that. That would be a cool knife to add to because I was kind of curious to see what that's about. Um, a lot of people own them, and I just never had my hands on one. Um, and it's a larger size knife. You guys know I like larger size knives. I mention that all the time. But anyway, um, you know, I'm looking for, uh, you know, any, you know, I trade all, you know, I could trade a bunch of these for one knife, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, mid-range Spyderco. I mean, if you think about it, um, you know, I've got in the whole batch here, I've got, um, six, seven, seven, eight, seven. you know, I've got like, I'm asking about 90 bucks. You know, this is about ninety dollars worth of knives. You know, you know, ten bucks, ten bucks. That's twenty plus fifteen right there. That's thirty-five. The one ton, eighteen. Uh, that would be forty-five. Um, forty-five, fifty-three, whatever. Um, eighty something with the skyline. Yeah, it's just it's you know roughly around a hundred dollars. You know that I'm at. So you know mid. You know mid. Range Spyderco, you know, if you're trading, if I'm trading a bunch of these for a Spyderco that's in the mid range to high range or something, I would work it out where maybe if this is valued more than your one knife, then I would, you know, I'd work with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting one cool knife, that's cool, you know, no big deal. I um, mean, I'll entertain trades that way. Um, you know, I'm looking for, you know, some of the uh, Boker Pluses, you know, obscure Boker Plus. I'm looking for a Boker uh, a Nano. You know, if you guys know anybody who, if any of you guys bought a Nano and aren't happy with it, you know that little guy, you know, with the funky, with the really cool pocket clip, frame lock, or whatever, I'm looking for one of those. Um, you know, 
there's a bunch there's a bunch there's a couple few in the Boker line um that I'm looking for um you know to just like you know any HKs you know whatever I don't know what you guys have out there but basically I'm um, looking to get rid of this knife and kind of liquidate some stuff to add some money to go ahead and get a couple uh knives I've purchased a couple knives here but there's a couple more that I really want to uh to get in here and review and stuff that I've wanted to get for a while and uh, just haven't gotten around to. So anyway, um, you know how it goes. You collect knives, lose interest, and then gain interest elsewhere, liquidate, you know. So anyway, I try to get you guys, you know, I think the prices are pretty fair. But PM me, you know, I, I'm just trying to work with, I'll work with you guys, man. I'm just trying to um, get some cash in here or whatever. These are, kni these are knives that, that I don't want anymore. So I'll work with you, you know. So anyway, um, if you got any questions, just PM me. Um, I should have some goodies maybe the middle of this week or the beginning of next week to do reviews on um, maybe more depending on how the sale goes who knows all right guys thanks for watching thanks for taking the time out uh, peace I'll try to what I'll do is I'll put the prices in the description and um, if you have any other questions or I'll entertain trades like I said um, just PM me and, and, and let me know and we'll, and we'll go ahead I'm pretty good about answering PM so all right guys thanks for watching again peace